Welcome everybody, TMOGH here. I have a few boxes right here. Let me open up them, pull out everything, and show you what is inside. All right, everything is out of the box. We're gonna be moving fast with these items since there is a lot of stuff just to save some time. But we are gonna show off this for a little bit. So this is the first item, the first item right here. This is a toaster and it's in this box. Let's go ahead. Open up this box, pull out this poster, and see what poster we have. Alright, so this is the poster we have inside. It's not a big poster, but it is a poster nonetheless. So there it is. Very nice poster. Let's go ahead and move on to the next item. All right, here is the next item. It is in this box. This is a cup right here. This cup has no handle, so that means that this is a teacup. So here it is, this is a Sakura Wars teacup. You can use this for more than just tea, but there it is. All right, let's move on to the next item. All right, so here we have a nice pin button. And then there are cards here. So there is four different cards, but two of the same cards. So there you go. Move on to the next. Next is this binder here. If you open it, you can put paper inside and store your notes or whatever inside. And we have this pencil board here. This is the back of it. So there's that. And then we have this glow stick right here. Now from the look of it, you might think that it's on, but it actually isn't. It's this light that's giving this effect on the bulb. Just like this. These comes with extra two sticks. So that literally tells you that it's not actually on. So if I actually turn it on, it lights up, but you can't see it properly because of this light. There you go. So as you can see, it's blue. Change the color, it's white, red, yellow. Actually, that previous one was orange. This one is red. But on your screen, you might think it's orange. There's green, uh, another shade of green, got pink here, lighter blue, a lighter pink. Is this white again? Yeah, we're back to white, yellow, purple, a lighter blue. Okay, this one's actually orange. A brighter green, blue, and then back to white. So yeah, there you go. And you can remove the bulb here and put on one of these other ones. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Let's screw that back on and move on to the next item. If I can just turn this off. I'm holding down the button. It's not turning off. There you go. Next we are doing the figures. This is the figure we are starting with. Right here. And this is our base. As you can see. 
There you go, she is now on the base. This is the next figure. And this one is a screwed figure. So you can put screws in the bottom of it so they won't move around. So that's this figure. Here is the next figure. Now the base does need to be cleaned. She is on her base. Here is the second to last figure. And her base is right here. Let's put her on the base. There you got your Chisato. And now the last figure. We got Erica Hartman from Strike, which is. Can you focus on her face? There you go. All right, so let's move on to the next items. All right, these are the next items right here. I have to unwrap them though. But we have this bag of stickers here. So let me pull out the stickers and see exactly what stickers it is we have. Starting with this one. We have this one here. And these are the last two. So yeah, that is all the stickers that was in here. Put them back in the bag. And now open these and show you what they are. All right, they are now out, starting with this. We have this Ray figure here. Now she does have a slightly issue. She has a broken peg down here. It's still connected to her, but it's slightly cracked and it will eventually break off. So I will end up having to deal with that, which is somewhat easy. I'll just have to fully break it off, get a screw, and then make her a screwable figure, which is not hard. But she stands, but she'll eventually break off at some point. But yeah, let's move on to the next item. All right, this is the next item right here. We got her little hair piece here. And now let me attach the base on. And there you go. Can you focus? There you go. So we have that. And then we have an Asuka from Evangelion a figure here. But sadly, she is missing one of her arms and one of her legs. So she is not complete, but that is all fine. So let me put her together and show you what she looks like. So this is what she looks like in the condition she is in. Not too bad. So as you can see here, 
She is missing her left leg and her left arm. But if you lay her down, you probably will not notice that. But yeah, there you go. Let's move on to the final stack and then we can end the video.